Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20 Telly, and today I'm going to show you how to create a conference on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up-to-date system and stable modules as of the 6th of June 2023. So the first thing we need to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard page. We're going to go up to applications, down to conferences, and then we're going to add a conference. We're then presented with a page of different options and things to fill in. If you're not too sure what each one means, there's a question mark you can hover over and it will give you a brief description. So the first thing we need to do is give our conference a number. And this is the number that you can dial internally to gain access to the conference. So I'm going to use 987. And then we'll just give our conference a name. I'm going to put in here Sam Test. And then we've got user pin. So do you want to give your users a pin to input when they dial in? I'm going to use 5137. If you don't want to give them a pin, you don't have to. You just leave that one blank. And then admin pin. So do you want to give your administrator, the person that's in charge of the conference, a pin as well? I'm going to put in 6394. Remember, it needs to be different to the user pin if you are going to use one. And if you don't want to, again, just leave that one blank. If we go down to language, which is currently set to inherit. So the first person that joins the conference will determine the language of the conference. I think the easiest thing to do is just use the language of the country that you're in. So if we use the drop down, we can see here I've got English United Kingdom. So I'm going to choose this one and we'll go down to join message. Do you want to play a message to your callers when they join the conference? I'll just leave that one as none today and we'll go down to leader waits. So do you want to wait for the leader to join the conference before the conference starts? I'm going to say yes. And then leader leave. Once the leader has left the conference, it will then kick out everybody else that's in the conference. So I'm going to say yes to this one as well. We'll go down to talker optimization. So if we've got five people on a call and one person talking, Asterisk will then mute the other callers so it will eliminate any kind of background noise that the other callers might have on their lines. I think this is really useful, so we'll change this to yes. We'll go down to talker detection. We'll hover over the question mark and it says set talker detection. Asterisk will send events on the manager interface identifying the channel that is talking. We'll change this one to yes and we'll go down to quiet mode. So this will take away any of the join or lever announcements if you want quiet mode on. So the caller will dial in, put in their pin if they have one, and then that will be it. There will be silence. It won't be, you know, Sam has joined the conference. It will take away all of that. So I'm going to leave that one as no, and we'll go down to user count. So do you want to tell the caller joining the conference how many people are currently in the room? I'm going to say yes. We'll go down to user join leave. So if you join the conference or leave the conference, do you want everyone else in the room to know? So if we say yes to this, it will then ask me to record my name when I dial in and then it will say Sam has joined the conference or Sam has left the conference. We'll go down to music on hold. If there's only one person waiting in the conference, do you want to play music on hold to them until someone else joins? I'm going to say yes. We'll go down to music on hold class. So what kind of music on hold do you want to be playing to that caller? If you click on the drop down, we've got inherit, default or none. I'll leave this as inherit, but if you want to upload your own music on hold, then it will be here as well that you can choose. So allow menu, do you want to allow your callers to have menu options to choose from? And essentially these are different types of settings that they can play around with. So if we click yes, if they press star, then it will go through to the menu and they can press one to mute or unmute themselves. You can press four or six to decrease or increase the conference volume. Choose seven or nine to decrease or increase your volume and then eight to exit. So we'll change this to yes. We'll go down to record conference. Do I want to record it? So I'm going to say yes. Maximum participants. How many people do you want to be able to join the conference? So if you sent out 10 invites and you only want 10 people to join, and change it to 10 or again if there's five you can change it to five and if you leave it blank it says there's no limits so that anyone can join but if we change this to five we'll go down to mute on join so when someone joins the conference do you want the system to automatically mute them i'm going to leave this one as no 
And then finally, we've got member timeout. How long do you want a caller to be in the conference before they are automatically kicked out of the room? So 21600 is six hours. If you change it to zero, it's disabled. I'm just going to leave this one as it is. That's everything on this page. So all that's left to do now is click submit. So you can now see that our conference has been created. And if you want to allow someone to dial into the conference externally, we can do that by adding an inbound route to the conference. So if we do that now, we go up to connectivity, go down to inbound routes, and we'll add an inbound route. We'll put our description as conference. And then we've got our DDI number. So which number do we want them to dial? And then all we need to do now is set the destination. We go to conference. There's the one here that we've already created and then click submit. So you can now see we've created our inbound route for our conference. So you can have people dial internally into the conference by dialing 987 or via the number that we've put in the inbound route. And to apply all changes, press the apply config button in the top right hand corner. So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.